Is he coming round to mine tonight? Uh, yeah, let's see, eh? It depends what's happening at home. Oh, so you'd rather spend a boring night in with the old fogies than me? Like I've tried with her, Bradley, but it's her turn now. Look, it's not a competition, Stacey. Okay. You can help me out with a few coins for the laundrette, could you? Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, I don't know. I thought you said you wasn't hungry. I could have made you one of them at home. Yeah, I know, but I said I'd meet Stacey. Is that a problem? Well, no, of course not. It's just, well, you didn't have to pay Bradley. Well, maybe you made him feel like he had to. Uh, what she means Look, don't let her attitude rub off on you. I'm not the one with the attitude. Excuse Look, me. that's enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's right now. Stacey, I think it's about time that you and me got to know each other a little better. Tea at my house. Oh, I've got the stool. Six, Sucha. I suppose. Uh, good. Oh, thank you, Jane. Please tell me I'll drink that. Hello, Grandma. Half an hour and I'm out of here. Oh, don't be like that. Huh? Oh, hello, Grandma. Is everything all right? Oh, of course it is. Why shouldn't it be? Oh, that's a very interesting top. Get it from the store, did you? Well, I'll just go and pour the tea. You see, she's already having a pop at me. No, no, she isn't. Just go easy on her, yeah? Why should I? Because I'm worried about her. Well, she can look after herself, Bradley, and why are you giving me such a hard time? Because her son has got cancer. What? Well, I'm the last person she wants comfort in her. No, she doesn't know about it yet. And Grandad obviously hasn't told her. Well, that's a car crash waiting to happen. Yeah, tell me about it. So just give her a chance, please. Yeah. Oh, this looks lovely, Grandma. Yeah. And it's nice. Oh, Bradley, why don't you go and join your grandfather in the pub and leave us ladies to it? Set yourself down, Stacey. Milk. How's the family? <laughs> Charlie busy at work? Oh, yeah, you know how it is. How's the laundrette business? Oh, all right. Machine broke down today. Oh. Oh, how about little Freddy? Mm. Poor Mo. He's had a terrible time. Yeah, no thanks to people thinking the worst. I was very worried about her. Oh, I suppose it was the gossip of the day. You should never mistake care and concern for idle tittle-tattle. Are you joking? People around here can't wait to start mouthing off about what don't concern them. I hope you ain't talking about me. Because I've never been one to poke my nose in where it won't want it. Uh, you're the worst. I beg your pardon. I am community-minded, not like you. Just what she wants and causes trouble whenever she feels like it. Well, I'm just looking after myself, that's all. Yes, well, no wonder Pop Bradley looks so stressed. You're a lot to handle, young lady. Yeah? Well, you can tell Bradley why this didn't work out, because you're not happy unless you're picking oh. holes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's all right. There's no harm done. You can have a look if you like. It's from Sharon. It's her and Dennis's baby. Dennis? Mm. Oh, I'm not fast. Go on. Sometimes I think I still see him. About the square, at the Vic. Do you miss him? I loved him. Oh, I never used to get on my nerves. Always interfering. Oh, he thought he knew me better than anyone else, but he didn't. I used to think that he could see right through to my soul. There was more in him than met the eye. He was like a son to me. Sometimes I wished he were my son. Because my son, he weren't no good, you know. I mean, Dennis weren't perfect, but... He had a good heart. My Nick's heart was black as night. Sometimes I thought that he weren't my blood. Well, I, I just realised the time. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I shouldn't have gone on about my neck. It always causes bad feelings. All right, don't go on. What is it? Nothing. Is it because I was talking about my neck? No. Well, it is, isn't it? But, I mean, you didn't even know him. Oh, perhaps Bradley's told you about him. I don't blame you for passing judgment on him, because I tried not to. But he drained me dry of compassion. I ain't never going to be able to forgive him. You don't know that. Hmm. Don't tell me about my own son. I'm the one what bears the scars. There's no place for him at God's table. You can't say that. Oh, why not? It's true. Because he's got cancer. I... I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Jim was meant to tell you. Oh, why didn't he? Why wouldn't he tell me a thing like that? Well, maybe he didn't want you to worry. I only know because he told Bradley. Bradley. But, uh, oh, I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Maybe I should go.